I've said it before, Brisbane is growing and the CBD is growing with it, constantly evolving and reaching for the sky. While we may not boast the towering skylines of cities like Hong Kong or New York City, Brisbane has its own impressive collection of epic skyscrapers that continue to shape our urban landscape. Today we embark on an exhilarating journey through Brisbane's biggest skyscrapers, the iconic structures that currently define our city and get a glimpse of the awe-inspiring designs set to grace our skyline in the years to come. So buckle up and prepare to be amazed by the dynamic growth and ever-evolving skyline of Brisbane's skyscrapers. Today, we're talking tactics. The exact definition of a skyscraper varies, with some saying they must be over 100 metres and others saying 150 metres. Today we're focusing on buildings in Brisbane that soar above 150 metres. Before we get to the five tallest in Brisbane, let's quickly go through Brisbane buildings that are over 150 metres. Skyline Apartments, a 150 metre tall residential apartment building located on the corner of Macrossan Street and Arch Lane. Brisbane Square, 151 metres tall. Home of the Brisbane City Council, located on the top of Queen Street. 180 Brisbane, 152 metres, located at 180 Ann Street, with the anchor tenant being the Commonwealth Bank and nicknamed the Brisbane River Tower, for obvious reasons. 480 Queen Street, 153 metres, a premium grade office building with retail and hospitality at the lower levels in the Brisbane CBD's Golden Triangle. Waterfront Place, 162 metres, one of Brisbane's landmark office towers, located on the edge of the Brisbane River on Eagle Street. 275 George Street, a 171 metre tall office building, located on George Street. Central Plaza One, 174 metres. Completed in 1988 and became synonymous with Expo 88, located at 345 Queen Street and was the tallest tower in Brisbane until topped by Riparian Plaza in 2005. 300 George Street, 182 metres tall. Part of the Brisbane Quarter along with the One Building, a premium grade office building on George Street. 111 Eagle Street, 195 metres tall. An office building notable for the illuminated curved columns in its facade designed to resemble the roots of the Moreton Bay Fig. Riparian Plaza, 200 metres, but with a 50 metre communications mast. While the antenna does make the building in the top five tallest buildings in Brisbane, the actual building building only rises to 200 metres, and a mix of office, residential and penthouse apartments located on Eagle Street. Aurora Tower, 207 metres, a residential and hotel apartment building located at 420 Queen Street, right by Eagle Street. It's worth noting that Brisbane has a maximum height restriction of 274 metres. You can't build anything bigger as it would create a blind spot on the airport's radar system. So we aren't going to see any super skyscrapers like Dubai, New York or Tokyo here. And now we get to the top five biggest buildings in Brisbane, currently. First is One William Street, or sometimes cheekily known as One Big Willy. While the top of the spire reaches to 260 metres, the roof reaches to 224 metres. It's home of the Queensland State Government, who hold the lease for 15 years and cost $650 million to construct in 2016. A key design feature of the building is the sinuous line of the Brisbane River, which travels up the middle of the tower, around the crown, and back down to the ground again. Next, the Soleil Tower, also known as one of the Meriton buildings, located at Adelaide Street and standing at 243 metres tall. It contains 68 floors of luxurious residential and service apartments and stands right next to the iconic Story Bridge. It was the tallest building in Brisbane from 2011 to 2013 until its twin overtook it. And speaking of its twin, next up is the Infinity Tower, the second of the Meriton apartment buildings. At 249 metres high, it took the title of Brisbane's tallest building until 2016. It includes 81 levels of serviced and residential apartments located on Herschel Street. It's close to Roma Street Parklands and therefore the up and coming Brisbane Live Arena and quite close to the Kurilpa Bridge, giving it easy access to South Bank Parklands and the Queensland Cultural Centre. Given both Meriton Towers are at opposite ends of the CBD and up until recently were the two tallest, the city was often described as being bookended by Meriton. The second tallest building in Brisbane is the One. It stands at 264 metres tall and is the third of the buildings in the Brisbane Quarter Precinct. The One is an 82-storey residential tower on the corner of North Quay and Adelaide Street, designed by Zenks Architects. The lower floors and podium levels include mixed use, such as a master ballroom, conference facilities and retail stores. And finally, 
The tallest building in the city is the Brisbane Sky Tower. This luxurious residential building stands at 270 metres tall, located on Margaret Street, right next to the city botanic gardens. It includes 1,138 apartments, penthouse, sub-penthouse apartments. It also includes a recreation deck on the 89th floor, which features Australia's highest infinity pool and is the sixth tallest building in Australia. With a height limit set at 274 metres and the building coming in at 270 metres, there were significant delays and complexities with the crane used to build the building, particularly given it was encroaching on the airport's radar system. Thankfully, they got the job done and finished the building. So that's where we are currently at. But as I've mentioned, Brisbane is on the rise. So let's take a quick look at five new skyscrapers currently under construction and where they will fit in the Brisbane city skyline. First is 443 Queen Street. Billed as Australia's first subtropical designed building, 443 Queen aims to live, breathe and respond to Brisbane's beautiful benign climate. The tower will reach 184 metres tall, right on the edge of the river in the Eagle Street precinct. It will contain 264 high quality residential apartments with unprecedented views across Brisbane. Amenities for the residents will include a private dining room, catering kitchen, outdoor lounge, cabanas, a gymnasium and a 25 metre pool. Originally set to be completed by 2020, this development has had a number of setbacks, including opposition to its development due to its proximity to heritage listed customs house and also the collapse of the construction company ProBuild, which left hundreds of workers on the site out of work. Queensland-based Hutchinson Builders took over the job to see it to completion. Next up is 205 North Quay. This is a $600 million development by Seabus Property, which aims to be the first commercial building in Australia to offer tenants a holistic work-life approach and one of Brisbane's most internationally recognisable river edge developments. It will reach 186 metres tall and offer over 40,000 square metres of office space. It will also include world-class amenities such as a whole floor wellness facility, a 25 metre lap pool, a public realm auditorium, outdoor terraces on every level with rooftop collaboration facilities. The ground plan of the project will be unenclosed and dedicated to 100% public use with a new ground level urban plaza. It it will also include unique gold elliptical sun shading devices on the facade, giving quite the striking look. After the completion of the new underground metro and upgraded Roma Street station, this building will fall in the new Grand Central Precinct. It's estimated to be completed by late 2024, but it's already 100% pre-committed to the federal government, the Department of Human Services. Then there's 360 Queen Street, an impressive development taking shape in the heart of Brisbane's Golden Triangle. It's a massive 45,000 square metre office building that spans an impressive 33 levels, reaching a height of 205 metres. This $800 million commercial office tower is a collaborative effort between Charter Hall Group's Prime Office Fund and Investor Commercial Prime Office Fund with renowned Blight Rainer Architects at the helm of the design. This architectural marvel is set to redefine the skyline of Brisbane's business district. It boasts a sleek, modern design with floor-to-ceiling glass panels that flood the interiors with natural light. What sets it apart from other offerings are the vibrant outdoor spaces, including mixed-mode winter gardens and tiered tropical landscaped terraces, providing a refreshing and invigorating environment for its occupants. At the main entrance, we're greeted by an impressive 60 meter frontage along Queen Street and adding to the allure of the building, a retail laneway is being created featuring a variety of food and beverage outlets, creating a dynamic and lively atmosphere for both tenants and visitors. Speaking of tenants, this remarkable office tower has already secured commitments from three prominent firms. Advisory firm BDO, currently located in Blue Tower, will be relocating to this new development, occupying an expansive 9,000 square metres of office space. Similarly, Hopgood Ganim Lawyers, currently based in Waterfront Place, will be making the move, securing 6,000 square metres for their operations. Both firms have signed 12-year leases, a testament to the quality and desirability of this new office space. The latest commitment has been Herbert Smith Freehills, a law firm currently in 480 Queen Street and relocating to 4,700 square metres in 360 Queen Street on a 10-year lease. Not only is this development visually striking, but it's also committed to sustainability. The building will be powered by 100% green energy 
ensuring a minimal environmental impact. In addition, it boasts a remarkable six star green star rating. Moreover, it has achieved a five star neighbors energy rating, further establishing its commitment to sustainable practices. Construction is well underway, led by Hutchinson's builders and is expected to be completed in 2025. Stage one, Waterfront Brisbane. This is a $2.1 billion development on the banks of the Brisbane River at Eagle Street. It comprises of twin commercial office towers with a combined mixed use podium above the river walk. The south tower will rise 212 metres with 43 storeys and the north tower up to 238 metres and 49 storeys. It will deliver 120,000 square metres of leasable office space, 9,000 square metres of public realm areas including improvements to the river walk and public plazas opening onto the river and enhanced retail offerings. This will be built on the site of the old Eagle Street Pier Pre and you might have already seen the demolition of the old building that was there. The river walk will remain closed while construction occurs and stage one of the project is set to be completed by 2027 with a staged opening happening up until then. It's hard to be living in Brisbane and not have heard of the Queen's Wharf development. And even though its completion date has been pushed back to 2024, the massive development is really starting to take shape and is already making its mark on the Brisbane skyline. The tallest tower in this six tower development will be 250 metres tall. Queens Wharf Brisbane offers a wide range of experiences that embody the spirit of Queensland. From cultural attractions to retail, dining, hotel, entertainment and more, this precinct will capture the essence of what makes Queensland so special while delivering significant economic benefits for the local and state economy. Its state-of-the-art contemporary architecture beautifully merges with the historical heritage buildings, creating an exhilarating atmosphere that embraces Brisbane's subtropical climate, blue skies, and the city's outdoor river lifestyle. The Neville Bonner Bridge will take pedestrians from Queens Wharf straight to the vibrant South Bank, making it easier than ever to explore both sides of the river. Queens Wharf Brisbane will truly be a feast for the senses. And let's not forget the economic impact. The development will create a whopping 8,000 operational jobs, along with thousands of construction jobs and opportunities for local suppliers. Anticipated to attract an additional 1.39 million tourists each year, this world-recognised destination will also become a beloved spot for locals to embrace and take pride in. So what do you think? Which of Brisbane's biggest buildings are your favourite? And which of the new developments are you looking forward to the most? Or are you not in favour of these? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. That's it for today. If you appreciate the work I'm doing, I'd love it if you hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. Or head over to our website at www.tactic.au if you are interested in workplace strategy and optimization, office leasing advisory, fit out design, and construction. We are an end-to-end -end solution for all your office leasing needs. I'm Mel Picos, and we've been talking tactics.